All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Today is not an adventure video. It is a campground review of the Macomb Reservation. Stick around and see how it scores. folks welcome back to the channel if this is your first time watching make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to continue to follow my adventures but today is a campground review of the office of parks recreation and historic preservation campground macomb reservation that is a mouthful this campground is located near schuyler falls new york and is not a dec campground so this campground, I stayed there for three nights, and I got some things to talk about on this one. So, I score my campgrounds in five different categories. Inner roads and sites, facilities, which are your bathrooms and showers, amenities, what do they have to offer, staffing, is the staff doing their job, and price point, is the price you pay worth going to this park. So, let's get into it. Inner roads and sites. Upon entering this campground, going into the booth where you check in, the road is paved, and it's paved beyond that. There are three sections into this campground. There's the 100 section, which is a has dirt and gravel road. Um, those sites are near the water and on the water, and no electric in those sites. They have a fire pit, and they have a picnic table, and that's it in every site. They uh, noticed... I, that a lot of the sites were not level. So if you have an RV, you might have a hard time leveling it. If you're in a tent, finding that right spot where you don't roll from one side of the tent to the other could be a chore. There are a few level sites there, but not very many. Um, the next section, the 200 section, is paved road. The road is wide enough throughout the whole park where two rigs can meet each other very easily. And the 200 section has electric they have 30 amp electric at every site with a fire pit and a picnic table the 200 section though this was my site there and it's very much inclined my front jack is all the way down my rear jacks are all the way down it was very difficult to level the camper there uh, i noticed that a lot of sites were like that on my side the opposite side of the road was there was a lot of uh trees that were mazes the, if you had to back a camper in you better have a spotter because the day that we were leaving a lot of people were leaving the guy across the road from me left this mark on a tree he planted his camper right into the side and, oh, it was we got him off it but i hate to see stuff like that but there it really is a maze backing in there's no defining driveway to back into that is really not good the 300 section once you get past the 200 section where all the electric is the 300 section there's no electric there just a fire pit and a picnic table and but the sites seem to be more level back there um this fifth wheel fit in there quite easily so the sites look better back there although there are still some that are unlevel so anyways the roads were in good shape the sites need some work not all of them were great at all so i gave macomb reservation a 6.5 on inner roads and sites facilities there are bathroom facilities throughout the park and there are also shower facilities and it's a mixture of new and old buildings and fixtures um every one i went into the sinks the toilets and the showers all seemed to work well they looked clean but you could tell the aging of this building compared to this building. Um, the bathrooms were do have cold water at the sink, do have hand soap, and they have towels to dry your hands. Take note, DEC. Um, there is a dump station there. There's water spigots throughout the park where you can fill your RV or fill up jugs. And... Um, the other thing that 
is in the showers. Um, one hook, we're in some of the showers. The other showers had two hooks. Um, one, a couple, the newer showers had a bench in them where you could put your, your stuff. But they had these push buttons that you start the shower and they're preset temperature. And I find that either some are too hot, too cold. Very rarely do you find them right in that comfortable zone. But that's it is what it is. I gave Macomb Reservation a 7.0. All right, folks. Well, welcome back. I had to stop the video real quick because the skies got really black. And the wind picked up, almost blew my uh, camera over here. So I moved it inside. Welcome to inside my little home on wheels. Anyways, let's continue our review of the Macomb Reservation. We're on to amenities. And this place has a beach. Um, there's a hand launch for canoes and kayaks right there by the beach. There's fishing. Um, there's pavilions where you can rent out for parties. There's two of them. Uh, and they also have grills there at the pavilion. There's a picnic tape area. Um, a nature trail that Jax and I went on every morning. He likes going out and exploring too. There's a rec field, a playground. They have canoe and kayak rentals. Um, they also sell ice and firewood there, which the firewood wasn't badly priced at $4 a bundle. Um, they do have in the 100 loop a at the shower building out plugs outdoors where you can charge your devices um, which is nice to have there is no shelf where you can set your phone down while it's being charged there's no bench to sit there so you have to bring your lawn chair up because you probably want to sit with your thousand dollar iphone being charging there or it might grow legs um, but they have um also game rentals like cornhole there so they do have pretty good amenities there so i gave them a 7.5 staffing and now this is where the it goes downhill i'm going to give you the pros first staffing the bathrooms are kept clean the showers are kept clean and supplied there's hand soap and towels there not once that i see where there was not um they seem to be picking up the park fairly well. They keep the firewood stocked. Um, and there's a lot of college students that work there. So they seem to be doing a decent job on that end. Here's, though, the negative. Whoever's in charge of this park needs to start enforcing some things. Um, when I got to my site, not only was my site wicked, not level at all there was deep ruts six to eight inches deep at my site that i filled in when i got there the staff should have recognized that and should have done that not left it the way it was um the other one was at somewhere in the campground there was somebody that had a obnoxiously loud generator and i mean it was loud the people across the road from me and on each side of me we all were thinking it was on the other side of the camper. That's how we didn't know where it was, but it was loud. They should have been told obnoxiously loud generator can't run it. Um, barking dogs. Again, dogs bark. There was people all around us had dogs. I had jacks with me. Those dogs were nice. They didn't bark at everything. There was a group there that had two dogs tied to a tree. Those dogs barked at every little movement. And because they were tied to the tree, the group was over here and they continued to bark to get their attention. And then they left and left the dogs tied to the tree. Whoever was in charge of that park should have stopped and told them, can't leave the dogs there and you've got to keep them quiet or you got to leave, period. And if you want to put down in the comments that I'm a dog hater, there's three things I'll go to jail for. My wife, my daughter, and my dog. So I'm not a dog hater. Um... Speeding. The number of people speeding through this park, again, you should, it's very easy to find out where these people, what site they're on, and give them a warning and say, if you see you speeding again, you're out. And the other thing is, the rules clearly state no more than two tenths on a site. There was a site 
that had four tents on it and on each side of the site where they could have a canopy tent in the middle over their picnic table and have your fire pit. Well, the problem with that was their tents on each side were on other people's sites, encroached on other people's sites. Yeah, their door might be on their site, but the, half their tent is on the site, this site, and half their tent is on this site or on that site. You know, you're sitting there with your RV, you have your awning out, and there's a tent four feet off the front of your uh, awning because that's how far these people were over. The staff drove by that the entire time we were there and not once said anything to them. That is a huge negative to whoever's running that park. You shouldn't be there if you can't do the job. And so I'm not even sure they own, earned this grade, but they had a lot of people there that was doing their job. I'm giving them a 5.0 for staffing. Price point. The price on this campground, let me get my slip, was $81.25 for three nights. I did have an electric site. Um, so it was, site fee was $45, which comes out to $15 a night. And then there's amenity fee. And I think that's because it had electric. And that was $29. And then you had to reserve America site. Uh, that Their fee, $7.25. So it came to $81.25 was the grand total, or $27.08 per night. Um, I think, judging by the sites in the electric, on one side, we're all pretty much at an incl incline like this. Very hard to level your rig. On the other side of the road, it was a maze to get your rigs into. There's no defining driveways to park your rig. Um, the campground that the whoever's the caretaker does not enforce rules. Um, I think I'm giving them a generous six on the rate a grade here for price point. Um, I was thinking of giving them lower, but they do have some good things to offer, and it's 50 50 on that. So I'm giving them a 6.0. So from Macomb Reservation. They have 32 points out of a possible 50 for an overall grade of 6.4. Incidentals. I had one bar at this campground on my cell phone, which is Verizon Service. It was good for texts and it was good for calls. You are not going to stream anything and you're not going to pull up any social media. Um, as far as supplies, there's a great little grocery store right down the road, about two and a half miles. Rocks Grocery, it's called. They have gas, they have pizza, they have subs, they have ice cream, they have a coffee bar in there, they have a grocery store, and wicked, wicked, great wings they had. The wings that we had got were awesome. So that was a nice thing to have just right down the road. You can get your groceries, you can get gas, you can get food there already made. But for the Macomb Reservation, operated by the Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historical Preservation, they barely earned a 6.4 for my review. All right, folks, you watched all the way through. Thanks for that. If you liked the video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. Continue to follow the adventure. And remember, folks, tomorrow is no guarantee for any one of us. So disconnect from that Wi-Fi. Connect to this out here.